Hey everyone, we didn't cook any pork for a long time. So today I made a recipe with pork chop, carrots, salsify, oranges and dill. So let's do it. And let's start with salsify. I'm gonna use it in two ways. Chips for the decoration and then white puree. So I peel them first and keep them in the water to prevent them from turning dark. First, I make few nice, thin slices with a peeler and then I deep fry them for few minutes. You can season them with salt or various spices and they are ready for my plating. The rest of the salsify is chopped roughly and cooked in the water with a little bit of milk until very soft. The salsify is cooking, so let's start with the meat. I have here a nice piece of pork tenderloin, so I am cutting nice steak for my dish. And where there is a meat, there is also a food inspector. And for the people who don't like dogs in the kitchen, uh, how do you know if your meat is good quality if no one check it for you? Hmm. Anyway, I generously season it with salt and pepper. And since it's been a while since I cooked anything in a sous vide, I decided to go for it this time. So I add some fresh thyme, seal it and I will cook it at 60 degrees Celsius for one hour. In the meantime, the salsify has cooked enough, so let's finish the puree. I transfer it into the blender, add some cream, honey and salt and blitz it for a few minutes until smooth. I want to make a dots for my plating, so I transfer it into the plastic bottle and it will wait for me until later. One thing I always teach my students is the importance of planning your plating before you even start cooking. If you find yourself thinking about how to plate just a minute before you begin, you haven't fully understood the essence of plating. My next vegetable for the dish will be carrots. I peel them and chop few nice, big pieces to use for my garnish. I will start by cooking them in salted water with all spice until they are soft, but not too much as we will finish them inside the oven. For the rest of the carrots, I will make a carrot sauce infused with dill. For a full tutorial on this sauce, you can check it out as the bonus on my Patreon page. More and more people are joining, so thank you for the support guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me there and we can chat. And I will be also adding a new plating analysis next week, so stay tuned if you are in sous chef tier. The carrots are cooked enough, so now I will cut them into my shape. I do it this way because I think it looks cool and it increases the surface area for grilling. However, if you prefer a different shape, that's completely fine. I season them with oil, salt and pepper on the top then grill them on maximum heat until they are nicely colored. For my final garnish, I have chosen oranges, so I cut them into nice segments. Just make sure there are no white parts and you don't waste too much oranges. The rest of the juice can be squeezed out and the segments kept in. I am doing this at last minute, but you could do it even a day before. And now let's finish the meat. I take it out of the bag, pat it dry with a paper towel and I sear it on the pan to get a nice color on both sides. Keep in the mind that the meat is already cooked, so don't spend too much time on the pan. Use very high heat and do it quickly. You 
can also see the sights to achieve a better looking stay. I let it rest for just one minute and then cut nice two pieces for my garnish. And by the way, if you're a passionate home cook who would like to take cooking a bit more seriously, learn all the basics of fine dining cooking, how to be more creative, all important techniques, plating and much more from me personally. Apply for my one-on-one -on -one online coaching on my website or text me personally on Instagram and we can talk together about possibilities for you. And now let's do the plating. I have everything prepared here. Nice looking carrots, herbs, oranges, chips and the meat. The key to successful plating is to finish things all together. You don't want to reheat meat or vegetables because they can get very dry. I start with my meat, perfectly cooked pork chop, then few pieces of my grilled carrots. Few orange segments. Then is coming my white sassify puree. I do dots like I said before, but you can also experiment with different plating options. Some crispy sassify chips for the decoration and of course taste. For my herbs, I use dill and sunflower leaves. And I finish everything with my carrot sauce infused with dill. And by the way, a quick heads up for everyone who is enjoying watching my videos every Sunday. I am changing my schedule from weekly to releasing a video every two weeks from now on. I want to focus more on creating longer and hopefully higher quality videos. The short videos haven't been performing as well as I would hope. Additionally, my schedule has become very busy as more and more people are wanting to start my coaching. I believe this new schedule and format will allow me to maintain consistency while dedicating myself to both coaching and creating content. So I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. And if you want to learn another cool recipe with pork, Check out this video and learn my recipe with pork tenderloin, leek roll and beetroot wheel. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.